Activists in Malaysia are demanding the resignation of four ministers who they accuse of misleading the public. The ministers oversee a controversial rare earths refinery run by Australian miner Linus. A Malaysia bureau chief explains. Now, a group of activists representing some 80 NGOs in the country are here to see the Minister of International Trade and Industry to try to convince him to cancel, if not suspend, the temporary operating license of Linus, the Australian miner. Now, their request was rejected, but a memorandum was submitted to the minister. Anti-Linus activists are afraid that the Australian miner will eventually turn Kwantan into their dumping ground for toxic and radioactive waste. Now, earlier this this week, four cabinet ministers, including the health and trade ministers, issued a joint statement assuring the people that Linus must move its waste outside the country or the license could be revoked. But the Australian miner argued that there's no basis to kick them out, as moving the waste out is never part of the deal. Now, its CEO, Nick Curtis, said the company has merely undertaken voluntarily to remove the waste if their proposal for a permanent waste disposal site is rejected by the Malaysian government and there's no taker for its recycling products. The company has until next September to do that. Now the people are angry and confused. They're not sure who to believe. The problem is they said they were not properly consulted before the project took off and now they said they could not trust the government. The whole idea of investment is to benefit people, if I'm not wrong. Uh, the question is, is this benefiting the people? The people don't want this project, full stop period. Now, with the crucial general election approaching, the issue is being seized by the opposition that's promised to scrap the 800 million US dollar plant if they're voted into power. Now, Linus CEO complained that the plant is being used as a political football. Now, how Prime Minister Najib handles the situation will be keenly watched as it may affect investors' confidence. Melissa Go, Channel News Asia, Kuala Lumpur.